bulletin man joining you on this June 29, 2010. Welcome. Hope you're enjoying a uh, wonderful weather pattern here in Mid Missouri. A few chemtrails up there, but Dave Murray, I got to watch the news this evening. You don't think those are chemtrails? There's a beautiful sky. It's what he said, dry. And all this, my goodness gracious. Uh, because I read in the London Telegraph the other day that chemtrails were caused by wet conditions, but Dave said there's no humidity. Just don't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, I have a special guest in the studio all the way up from Louisiana, the, the Gulf Coast. Uh, first hand account of what's going on down there. You know, uh, folks, it's the usual suspects in this whole Gulf oil spill. BP is owned by Goldman. Goldman Sachs has about 40% stake in BP. And uh, it's just the usual suspects. Uh, Dick Cheney and Halliburton are the ones who capped the well. And they just do a very good job of capping it because it's, it's spewing forth about 500,000 gallons of uh, nasty crude oil every day. And actually the seas have been turned into blood. If you take uh, satellite images, these seas are actually red uh, from the oil. And you read the Bible, it talks about in Revelations that uh, the seas have been turned into blood. And we really do believe we're in the, living in the last of the end times. Uh, but I do have a special guest in the studios. Forrest Gump is joining me from Louisiana. Forrest, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Troubled. I'm in trouble, Forrest. Why are you troubled? Well, it's just America's going to hell. Why? Why? Because of greed. The love of money is the root of all evil, Forrest. But I make a lot of money doing shrimping. Well, you ain't going to be making much money now. I, I know. My DPs. shrimping boat is full of all oil. And all the shrimpies, they all dying. Yeah, it makes sad. my mama sad. This is all sad. Uh, BP has spent $50 million in a campaign uh, of advertising, uh, trying to make this all a better th situation down there, and is paying some of the restaurant owners uh, some sort of compensation, or at least that's what I saw on the NBC Nightly News this evening. Have you seen any compensation from BP while you've been down there for us? No, sir, I have not. And Me and Captain Dan, we did, we just trying to out there and get some shrimp, and it's just not working out. I think Mama, she going to have to go on welfare. I can't afford to feed her. All my all my tripping boats is they just stay just going down. Well, Forrest, I really think this is a deliberate attempt to uh, to destroy a two hundred and fifty billion dollar year industry, uh, fishing and, and tourism as well. Um, I did uh, my nephew was in Destin, Florida, about three weeks ago, and and no oil had made it there yet. Uh, but uh, the day he left, I posted on my Facebook page a picture from Destin of the oil on the beach and uh, in Pensacola the most beautiful white sand beaches in, in the world at one time are now uh, covered with oil every time the tide comes out so uh, Forrest what's the solution you think they're, it's all over for folks in the Gulf? I don't know Jeff I really don't I think that the oil it just needs to go away but it's not going to happen so I hope a box of chocolates will, sa will save everything and if I go running if I go running again, maybe, just maybe, BP will save us and we will all get our monies back because otherwise, I don't know what to do. Well, you know, it's not only the oil down there, it's also the benzene gas and the big methane pool. And now you've got the hurricane season coming and uh, a tidal wave of uh, two or three hundred, we could go in, inland two or three hundred miles and totally contaminate that area. And they're using an oil dispersal agent called Correct It. And uh, that has actually been banned in Europe. Uh, are you seeing any sick people down there, Forrest? Uh, Captain Dan, he, he got the flu-like symptoms the other day. And uh, he been laid up resting. But he don't have legs, you know. So I don't I don't know how that affects things. But he can't go running like I can. And that just, that just makes me sad. Well, Forrest, I certainly hope you get on the phone to your buddy, Barai. Have you met the new president yet? No, I have not, sir. I only met Johnson and Nixon. Well, you know what, i tell you what, it's a sad thing that Barack won't, uh, uh, well, Forrest had to run out of the studio, he got an important phone call. <laughs> Treachery in the Gulf is what I'm reading right now on the uh, internet on rinse.com. The new bulletin is uh, in my possession. I've passed a few of them out in Festus and Crystal City. Uh, but I've got a long way to go. Actually, I haven't been to Crystal City yet. I tried to get to Crystal City, but they have Mill Street all closed up. I did make it to John's Butcher Shop because I lived in Festus. I grew up in Festus all my life. I knew the back way in. But John's Butcher Shop has been basically put out of business by this slow-ass uh, people who can, don't have to pave a street. And uh, in Festus, my goodness gracious, they got all, all Highway A paved like <laughs> overnight. <laughs> like 13 miles in the, between Hillsboro and Festus. 
but they can't get Mill Street paid. So what is going on in the city of Festus? My goodness gracious. Y'all smoking crack over there at the city hall? I bet you are, aren't you? I think you're all on some heavy duty drugs over there. I know, man. I know all about the drugs. You know, at one time I was the biggest drug dealer in Festus High School, according to someone who uh, was posting something on the topics. Uh, you know what? I'm also the notorious Rave King as well. And, and the, uh, f the fellow from the uh, church on Main Street, KTBJ Radio, uh, I can't remember, I think his name's actually Jeff as well. Yeah, he chased me down the street, I left a bulletin on his, like, uh, uh, actually on the sidewalk. He said it was on his little stoop out there. He did call the postmaster last time when I left it on behind the mailbox. Uh, and he's going to call the police this time, for, and I'm harassing him when actually he chases me down. <laughs> Forrest is back, Forrest folks. Forrest is back. All right, well, I guess, uh, who was on the phone there, Forrest? Was that Barack? No. Yeah, that was your girlfriend, huh? No. Your mama? That was Captain Dan. That was girlfriend. your mama? That was mama. Tell, tell us about your mama. Mama said, Mama said, life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And right now, we're getting some pretty nasty chocolates because they fill with oil. Like Oil-filled chocolates, though, those ain't very good. I like the caramel ones or the white chocolate ones. Those, those are pretty good chocolates. But uh, one time, Mama gave me a pair of magic shoes. And she told me they'd take me anywhere. Mama used to be with rubber hose and call me retarded, too. <laughs> so... I, I don't know I don't know where she was going with that, but I trust her. I trust her. She's a she's a good woman. She tries. She does try. She does try. Indeed. I know that she tries really hard for us. I know your mama. Yes, I do. All right. Well, uh, this is the Bulletin Man, and uh, today is Tuesday, or actually just about Wednesday. We'll date this one for Wednesday, June thirtieth. And uh, I do appreciate you stopping. In. We have a special guest in the studio today. Forrest Gump jumped by. And tell us about what's going on out in Louisiana in the bayou. Forrest, you got any parting words? Bye, folks. Uh, Remember, life is always like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And now, right now, uh, there's some oil in those chocolates, isn't there? There's some oil. It's so, sad. That's not very good chocolate. It's really sad, Forrest, indeed. Well, I do appreciate you tuning in and uh, tell a friend about the one and only Bulletin Man. I'll try to be bringing in more guests here in the future. As, uh, the Lord allows, and his, we don't have a lot of time left. I don't think I'm looking for uh, Jesus to come back anytime now. And I know I got about uh, two minutes left on the YouTube. Uh, Forrest, you got anything else to say? I love Jesus. <laughs> All right, Forrest, you heard it right from the mouth of Forrest Gump that he loves Jesus. And uh, you know what? The ways of the cross are foolish to them that are perishing, but the unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to none. Bring to not the understanding of the foolish. So where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Here in these last days. Yeah. I mean, I, I, has not God chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise? The weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. The base things of the world and the things which are despised to bring to not the things that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are you in Christ Jesus. Who has given unto us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. And accordingly has we glory, let us glory in him. Look up, Jesus is indeed soon to come. This has been the Bulletin Man with special guest Forrest Gump, straight from Louisiana. I certainly appreciate you tuning in and uh, stop back and see us once again, would you? Take care.